Historic Harper's Ferry, located at the confluence of the Shenandoah and Potomac Rivers and the northern end of Virginia's Shenandoah Valley. In 1761, Robert Harper established his ferry here to help settlers moving west cross those rivers. In 1794, President George Washington chose this location as an armory to produce and store muskets for the army of the newly formed United States of America. These men could not have known how they had faded this location. In 1859, the violent abolitionist John Brown led an armed assault against the town and armory. His goal? Seize the weapons, distribute them to slaves, and create an armed uprising against the United States. Brown did succeed in entering Harper's Ferry, but his escape was quickly cut off by local militia. Brown's group was forced to blockade themselves in a building on the site, and they were captured two days later by federal forces. John Brown was subsequently hung for treason against Virginia two months later. Most historians view this episode as one of the principal catalysts that would start the American Civil War. During that war, Harper's Ferry would play a key role as well. It was strategically important not only due to its location, but also the presence of the obsolete CNO Canal towpath and the BNO Railroad. These provided quick transportation for troops and equipment. It was vital as a supply line if the Confederacy was to move north. It changed hands no less than eight times during that conflict, notably in September of 1862 when the forces of Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee captured it for the south as they moved north up the Shenandoah Valley. Two days later, this northward advance would be stopped at nearby Antietam. The Confederate States of America would be pushed back across the rivers. This would delay Lee's northward advance and movement on Gettysburg for 10 months. You know, I find Civil War history fascinating. But when that mercury in the thermometer is reaching up for 100 and above, it's not the time for a scenic historic tour. In fact, even sitting out in the boat broiling or on a shady bank watching the sweat drip off the end of your nose doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Fortunately, we know what those Civil War troops knew, that the area just north of Harper's Ferry here is called the Fords of the Potomac. enjoyed some pretty good action here and uh, you can come up to these rivers and fish with uh, the fish will hit spinners they'll hit uh, little twister tail grubs but there's really no need to spend your money on lures because the river here provides all that you're gonna need to catch fish hey Dana there's a bunch of minnows in here look look hang on hang on stop stop right there the right here in front of me just what I want you to do I'm gonna put the net down and I want you to charge me, okay? Okay. Come on, just run up. They're right in front of me, right here. Come on, move faster, faster, faster. Okay, pull the net up. Ah. Oh, we got rocks. We got rocks. 
Oh, I'll tell you what they did. They scooted in here around these uh, around these rocks over here. So let's herd them back up in this little shallow spot. I'll get down here with the net and we can try that over again, okay? Okay, scoot around into the deeper water and then come back at me. They're right, right in here in front of me. Okay, real fast, real fast. They're coming in, they're coming. Oh yeah, score, we got a bunch, all right. Yeah, all right. nice ones. All right, we, we got some bait now. Got him. Nice cat. Well, I'm not getting too many bites in here. You want to, uh, you get many bites in here close to No, I'm not. Not? Uh, you want to try it a little deeper? Yeah. All right, let's go out a little deeper. Oh, hey, check this out. Look what I found out here in the middle of the river. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How about that? Hey, something picked this up and dropped it. Wait a minute, he's back. He bumped it again. There he is. There he is. Man, he's got a little spunk in him. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. I fell off my rock. Ah. I got down in the hole. <laughs> Put me a little off balance with the current hit my legs and stuff. He's coming. He's coming. Here he comes. Oh, you going up, Kurt? Oh, I love fighting these things in this current. There he is. Another channel cat. Oh, it splashed me in the face. We are on these catfish today, aren't we? My lord. That's a pretty cat. He is a pretty one. Pretty good eating. Yeah, I got him. I think it's another cat. Oh yeah, I think it's another catfish. Oh, whoa. Ooh, that was a nice roll. Oh, this one's bigger. Ooh, he's got a big boo-boo on him. Definitely catching some catfish today. There's a fish. Yeah, he tried to take off with that minnow. And he didn't get away with it. Not jumping. I'd like to know where all the smallmouth are. There's usually some good smallmouth fishing in this river, but we are tearing up these cats. Not gonna complain. Oh, that's a nice channel cat right there. Oh. He didn't feel like he was so big. Another nice one for the stringer right here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, that ain't no cat. That ain't no cat. Nice little smallie. I'm starting to wonder if we're going to see any of these today. Because we haven't caught any yet, but definitely a lot of them in here. This one's kind of small. He's going to go back. But uh, I'd like to catch a few bigger ones. Oh, nice bass. Nice bass. Nice smallmouth. Look at this boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. Oh, yeah. Let's take it off. Yeah. I 
don't know if it's a big cat or what. Get him up in here. Hope he's under good. I can take the drag down a little bit. Coming up, it's probably a cat. Probably a real nice cat. Oh, he's going upstream. There it comes, there it comes. I tell you what, they, they do fight you in this current. Yeah, nice channel cat right there. Real nice channel cat. Taking off. He's taking off. Oh, he's rolling. Looks like another nice channel cat. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. That is the perfect eating size right there, isn't he? I don't know about you, Dana, but that was a, a great time out there in the water. It got me nice. Nice and cooled off. How about you? Me too. I'm okay. cold now. You're cold now. I'm huh? Cold now. In the middle of a summer heat wave. Hey. Cold. And we got a nice stringer of fish too. This will shave the grocery bill down quite a bit this week. Some nice catfish. Some good eating. So uh, I guess we ought to head on out. I got some uh, skinning to do here. What do you think? Skinning to do. Skinning to do. Okay. Skinning to do. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we filmed this episode in late August and the white-tailed deer season is rapidly approaching. 100% of my attention is quickly focusing right there. So this is probably going to be a wrap for the 2011 frugal fishing season. But don't despair, we're going to have the cameras in the field this fall to bring you some great hunting action as well. So take a minute and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now if you don't have a YouTube account, keep an eye on our website www.camochairproductions.com Either way, you'll be the first to know when new videos surface. Now from our website, you can link through to our Facebook page. There you're going to find outtakes from the making of these videos, wildlife photography, and other content that's not available anywhere else on the web. So stop by and like our page. And when you do, we'd love to hear your feedback, not only on how you think we're doing so far, but also if you have any ideas for future episodes, if it's practical for us to do so, we'll try to feature those in a future video. So we'll see you again soon. And remember, if you're looking for something to do on a hot summer day, get out and enjoy some time in the water. <laughs>